Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. A full-scale training exercise simulating a long-term mass power outage in Wisconsin kicks off May 15th at sites around the state. Known as Dark Sky, the exercise runs May 15th to the 17th will test the abilities of private utilities, law enforcement, first responders and the National Guard to respond to the scenario as well as its second and third order effects to exercise the processes now so that they are better prepared for threats to their power grid. The exercise includes an Alliant Energy facility in Fond du Lac County, which will serve as one of the National Guard training sites. The goal of the exercise is to increase understanding of the coordination, policies, and procedures required to conduct a joint interagency response to cyber and physical threats to critical infrastructure in Wisconsin. The dark sky scenario includes a variety of incidents that require local, county, and state-level response operations designed to exercise each participating unit and agency. The Wisconsin National Guard will exercise its joint staff and the National Guard Reaction Force in support of private utilities partners, non-governmental organizations, and local, county, state, and federal agencies for infrastructure security. As part of the exercise, Wisconsin National Guard soldiers will conduct door-to-door -door health and welfare checks in Onro, Wisconsin. The exercise will also test the abilities of public and private sector partners to work directly with local citizens impacted by critical infrastructure failures and to coordinate critical fuel distribution, cyber response, intelligence sharing, and mass care shelters as well as procedures for opening and operating the state's business emergency operations center. Canada's new national public emergency alert system was put to the test in this week all across Canada as part of National Emergency Preparedness Week. The tests were conducted on wireless and broadcasting services in Ontario and Quebec first, and were carried out in the rest of Canada throughout the week. Mobile devices in that were connected to LTE networks received the test alert. Mobile users in Ontario and Quebec were supposed to receive alerts on their devices as part of a test of the regulator-mandated warning system, which was supposed to be fully in place by April 6. No alerts were registered on devices in Quebec, while only some mobile subscribers in Ontario received the signal. System operators blamed the Quebec malfunction on a computer coding error and were still investigating what went wrong in Ontario. Test signals are also expected to sound on radio and TV stations in provinces and territories outside of Ontario and Quebec, except Nunavut. The alert worked in Newfoundland and Labrador. The alert however, was a few minutes late due to a minor adjustment to the program shortly before the scheduled test time made by Pelmorix the company that operates the alert system. There was also anecdotal evidence that not everyone received the alert. In Alberta, 60% of the phones were sent the alert. Out of 10 phones, 6 went off with the warning while 4 didn't. All six that did get the alert were on the Rogers network. Out of the four that didn't work, two are on the Rogers network. One is with Tell Us while the other is on Bell MTS. Why now are there these tests being done everywhere all of a sudden? Do they know something that we do not? Last year they held an event like this called Black Sky. Two days after that drill is when Hurricane Harvey made landfall in Texas. During a lot of these events, with 9-11 being one of them, that very day they were doing drills in the sky that dealt with exactly what happened that same day. These drills are costly and they don't do them for no reason. So are we expecting something major to happen soon that they are preparing for? Earlier this year, 
Australia and Japan accidentally sent out wrong warnings. With it being accidental, obviously nothing has happened after that, but with these more recent ones where Canada was notifying everyone about these tests that are going to be done, and then dark sky in Wisconsin, with all the preparation and money spent, something major might happen where the power grids go out, possibly for several days. The National Public Emergency Alert System was said to be a test to fix any flaws, which obviously happened, but what if millions next time when there is an emergency doesn't receive an alert, or what if the system has flaws when people need it the most? Obviously people will find out from word of mouth, social media, news, radio, etc. But what if no one is around any of those and there were warnings sent and no one seen them? Or better yet, no one received them. There has to be a better secure way of making these alerts work for everyone. But also what might be happening in the coming days for these tests to be taking place. I guess we will find out. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.